Hi, and welcome to Chit Chat. I'm Ashley. I'm Kaylee. I'm Dan. I'm Nicole. So lately there's been a lot of buzz with social media like Facebook and MySpace and Twitter and all that stuff. So we're going to be talking about our opinion on this new social breakthrough. So I guess the first, like the biggest thing is Facebook. Mm-hmm. See, I'll take it away from here. <laughs> I, no, I don't know. I can't, like, don't you kind of wish that it was never, not that it was never invented, but don't you feel like it consumes so much of your time? Yeah, almost all I, of feel my like, time. <laughs> I feel like Facebook is just a huge distraction for people. Like, the idea behind it is great. Like, the idea of being able to reach out to people that you, you know, aren't, maybe aren't that close with, or being able to talk to your friends when, you know, you don't have access to a phone or something, or like... When would you not have access to a phone? <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're in class and you're, you know, doing work and you just want to talk to somebody because you're bored. See, that's a distraction. You should be in class, children, <laughs> doing your work. Yeah, like when I'm <laughs> writing a paper, I check Facebook about like, like every five yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's and you it justify it in your head, like, all right, like one more word, and then I can go on, and then it's like yeah. one more paragraph, yeah. like. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm gonna reward myself with Facebook. <laughs> and yeah. nothing has changed since the last time you went on. It's still the same. I know. Yeah. <laughs> one of the worst feelings if you haven't been on for like two days. Yeah. No notifications. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Nobody yeah, even totally. commented on what that was. And then you see photos. like, and then like your old like new your whole news feed is like, oh, this person has like six new friends. And you're like, oh, well, I'm a loser. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I just had something to say, but I forgot it. What do you guys think about <laughs> how Facebook kind of takes away people's social skills? Because oh, I feel I like a saying. lot of people Funny. think about that. Totally. I feel like you're going to go on Facebook, and like when you text, you're going to be like a bad... A badass? Can I say that? Yeah. And then, badass. like, you and then, like, if you're in person, you're like, oh, I'm gonna be shy because I don't have a computer to hide behind or a cell phone to hide behind. Right. And it's not even. I don't even think that it makes like people more outgoing necessarily all the time. But like, I feel like you're just a lot more talkative when you're on a computer, and then when you're with somebody, you have less time to think of what you're gonna say before uh -huh. you say it. But that makes it more fun. Exhibit <laughs> A. <laughs> For you, because you don't <laughs> think before you talk ever. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely yeah. talk more on Facebook than in person, and I'd rather. Do talk you really? To, yeah, I'd yeah. rather talk to someone on Facebook than. Well, it's in easier because there's yeah. no there's no awkwardness on Facebook. You can think exactly. for a th if somebody writes in your wall that you don't know that well, but you want to impress them back, you can think for like an hour of what you want to <laughs> yeah. say, perfectly worded. You can backspace. be like, oh, I haven't been on Facebook <laughs> for the past hour trying to think of what I wanted to respond to you. I like awkwardness. I feed off of that. <laughs> 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 I know. <laughs> Hence, you hitting on me every day. <laughs> Whoa! All right, let's stay on topic now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. How what are we going to continue after that? I mean, the thing is, like, the, the thing about Facebook is that, like, it does connect people because you do get to talk to them. Like, you do, I do talk to a lot of people that, like, I wouldn't normally talk to. Like, some people that I don't even have their cell phone numbers or whatever, I'll be friends with them on Facebook and I'll talk to them through that. But at the same time, like... It, when I see them in person, if I'm like, oh, you know, you know, we've been having some good Facebook conversations, we should meet up that and like just catch up. That sounds ridiculous. Yeah. And it then, never no, actually happens. No, but like in like. your head, you're thinking, you know, oh, I get along with them when I'm talking on Facebook, yeah, so I'll probably get along count. with them in person. And then you see them in person, and you're like, oh, hey, how's how's it going? Pretty good. How's it going with you? Pretty good. Whip out your laptop okay, cool. and start talking. <laughs> 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 like you're sitting across from each other. My roommate and I do that for funsies. Like she'll be sitting on her bed, I'll be sitting on my bed, I'll just get like a bloop and it's like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, from across the room. <laughs> yeah, and also it's just like the worst to procrastinate. Like you're just on Facebook. You don't even realize that it's been like an hour. Yeah. It's just terrible. Especially you know what's also really creepy? Facebook stalking. I love Facebook stalking. I mean, like, I'm sure everybody does it, but at the same time, like, when you think about it, you're just like, how many people have been on my page today? How many people have been going through my pictures today? I would like, like to know. I'd like to know that who I'm important enough to for them to click on my have, page. No, like, they have, they have no, groups so. that are supposedly, no, like, if you do you, all these things, it's like, it's like if you invite, if you like this page and then you invite all these people and then you click on this link and then you type in your email yeah. and whatever, then you'll be able to see, like, who looks at your page, but it never works. Like, if they had that, then you wouldn't be able to look at other people's pages because uh -huh, yeah, they would yeah. know yeah. that you're they looking at them. Yeah, she's like, don't, don't, don't know. <laughs> And you'll know. But I don't know. I feel like people are so dependent on stuff like this. We just had this combo in my comm class. Like, people are so dependent on cell phones and Facebook and all this crap that was never even in existence. 
like prior to this. Yeah, but because now, before you always like you wanted to hang out with your friend, you walk over to their house. Yeah, I miss that. <laughs> We're stuff. like, hey, let's hang out now. But now it's like text, you know, all yeah. the time. You know what I also hate like about texting? is that people can be like in the middle of a conversation with somebody, like we could be talking and then you'll get a text and like whip out your phone, start you texting all the back. Time. I know, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean like that's what I like noticed about people like with cell phones. And, like I don't text that much, like at, compared to a bunch of other people, but like there are some people that I know who literally they have like their phone out 24 seven and they'll just keep like answering somebody on text message like in the middle of a conversation like oh hold on I just have to answer mm -hmm. this and like you would never do that in like if if like you didn't have your phone or whatever you'd think that's so rude you yeah. know like before cell phones you would have been like wow this person is a jerk yeah like my grandparents are like whenever they're like no texting at the table you know my like, dad's the yeah. same way they get mad at that yeah we can't go out to dinner with that if you pull one of these guys yeah, yeah. It's, kind of, it's like addicting though i feel like i was thinking about it from a psychological perspective i know i'm like a weirdo but okay does anyone you take psychology classes no okay. intro once all right you know yes. like positive reinforcement uh -huh. it's when it's like um oh no that's not what it's called something is like it's not all the time it's like varying so sometimes you'll check back and there'll be a notification but other times you there won't be but the fact that they're could be. Isn't notification sometimes and not others makes you want to check back more because, like, you know that it could be, right? Like, there's no... Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I think it's also, like... <laughs> well, I was just going to say, it makes me happy to get a notification. Like, I, or, like, yeah. six of them. I get so like, excited. Oh, no, this? And then, but sometimes it's, like, bad ones. Like, this person also, who you don't know, also commented on your friend's status. Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> That's a terrible and notification. It's also, it's also kind of weird when you get a notification from somebody you never really talk mm. to. Like, especially, like, with birthdays. Do you ever notice how, like... I love that. I'm like, who are you? Birthday, like, you'll have, like, you the most random so people write happy birthday on your wall, and you'll be like, who are you? I haven't spoken to you in, like, three years. Why are you writing I think that's good, birthday? though. I think that since the advent of Facebook, your birthday has become... A new holiday. appreciation day. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, I know this guy liked me. Like, that's yeah. like somebody telling you, you seem like a good guy, even if no, they don't I know mean, you. No, I mean, like, it's exciting. exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. Like, I, I get really happy when I get notifications. It doesn't matter who wrote on my wall for my birthday. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, there's some people that, like, you wish you could be closer friends with or whatever. I'm like, they'll write on your wall for your birthday. And you'll be like, why can't you just write to me all the time? Like, I'm like, hey, what's up? Why don't you take the initiative? <laughs> oh, trust me, I do. <laughs> it doesn't always work so well. <laughs> Yeah, so. All right. Can we talk about statuses? I think that's one of the most fascinating psychological aspects. Good idea. How different people work their statuses. Like, <laughs> there's people drive me crazy. I defriended somebody that used to go here, moved to Florida. When she went to Florida, I defriended her because I couldn't take it anymore. Those people that would be like, every day, oh, I just woke up, going for a run, now I'm going to class, <laughs> got to go to my brother's piano recital later. Like, like their this their whole day. Like, nobody cares. <laughs> if I, like, I'm a status person a little bit, but I, like, I'll either write something funny that I think will entertain people. Yes, yeah. me too. Or something about sports, like, that people will comment yeah. on and discuss. Or, like, I hate people that'll say, like, oh, worst day ever. You know what I So people be like, oh, I'm for sorry. And then like, when they're yeah, like, exactly. and the thing is, like, if you, even if you do write that, then so, sometimes people will actually be like, oh, you know, what's wrong? And, and you'll like, be like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. So why should I say Okay. I know, I love, like, those long strings of conversation between people. I'm like, why don't you just call them? Yeah. yeah. Might as well just call them. <laughs> or when you're commenting back and forth and you're both on, so you can just Facebook chat it, but you're just writing on each other's wall yeah. every 12 seconds. And you know what status I hate? Everybody now who watches Jersey Shore, like, their status is always, oh, GTL. Mm. No, oh, nobody cares. T-shirt like, time. T yeah. Like, nobody cares that you go to the gym. Nobody cares that you're going to do laundry. Like, <laughs> unless they're making dinner plans with you and this is cutting into their dinner time, they don't really care yeah. what you're doing. No, I totally agree with the, like, making the statuses to entertain. Like, I'm going to put yeah. something up that I'm going to think that a lot of people will, like, like yeah. and will and comment like. on, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And, like, when I get a lot of likes on something, it makes yeah, me yeah. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm totally going to regret saying this, but Frankie... <laughs> From living with Frankie, his statuses are really funny. Like he yeah, always puts no. up like those really, yeah. really funny statuses. Oh, and Frankie also spams everyone's wall with his freaking show. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that because I think that. that's the only. Reason. I noticed that yesterday. I was like, why is he stalking people's Facebook walls with his show? Yeah. Every single day, he has like like at least 17 of my friends like watch living with Frankie, watch living with Frankie. 
Yeah. Okay. Like, I think it's Facebook is a great way to get the word out about stuff. Yeah, definitely. It is. Mm -hmm. It's the, like a great way to reach a lot of people in one second. So yeah, I think, I think that it's better. I think it's yeah. I think it's better to have a Facebook now because it keeps you connected with everything. But at the same time, it is a big distraction. So mm -hmm. like you just kind of have to find that balance and work with your time. And like I wanted, to, I think they should make a thing where you can like turn it off for maybe a day or something. I think you, you know, can. yeah, yeah you can true. deactivate it. So like yeah, a day you can and then deactivate yeah. it. Yeah. But does that take a lot of I mean, time? I mean, I, I feel like <laughs> there should be some kind of control that should be like, uh, okay, I'm gonna allow myself this amount of hours yeah, on Facebook a day. Yeah, it shuts off and you My can't roommate and I, like, we wrote on Mark Zuckerberg's wall to do that because, like, <laughs> during finals week, you know, <laughs> and you just keep going back. I know a lot of people who turn their Facebook off during finals week. Yeah, same. I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm too big um, anyway, when we come back, we're going to talk about Facebook and jobs, and we're going to talk about stuff like Twitter and Formspring and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to Chit Chat. <laughs> we are continuing our Facebook extravaganza with jobs, looking at your Facebook. Be careful, children, they will. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this because on the one hand, like, I understand that they want to make sure that their, you know, workers are acting professionally, but at the same time, if you're, you know, going out with your friends, you're going to act differently than you are if you have an actual st steady job. Yeah, but... From my perspective, I feel that when you want to get hired for a job, they want to know the most that they can about you. And it's you as a person that are choosing to put your whole life out there for them to see. So if it's there, they're going to look at it. But the thing is, at the same time, you're it's not just you. Because, like, people can put up, like, pictures of you from, you know, something that you did that you're not particularly proud of or whatever. And, like, they can tag you in it. And that's not you putting it up. That's somebody else putting it out there. But, like, you can't control it. It's somebody else's decision. You That's know what I mean? true, but it's your decision to have a Facebook. Yeah, well... <laughs> well, I'm, an, I'm an RA, can, I and, like, I am so careful about all the pictures ever taken of me. I make sure my drinks are behind my back, or... Really? Uh, uh, yeah, because we're not allowed to have anything on our Facebook. We're not even allowed to say, like, I'm drinking tonight, like, a lot well, of my... I think that's stupid that yeah. people do that. They're, like, like getting really? wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, yeah, we like, can't I say would never like write that, that as my Facebook status, even if I was But, like, going no to. pictures like, of us touching alcohol or anything. Yeah. I mean, the way that I do it is, like, even... I'll even, like, sometimes delete you know, untag myself or, like, try to delete pictures where, like, other people have cups in it. Because mm -hmm. even if I'm not drinking, like, people are going to assume that I am if they mm -hmm. see me surrounded by people with, you know, red plastic cups. Yeah, I feel, like, it kind of makes you feel like a nerd, but I'm like, yo, like, take the drinks yeah. out of the picture. It makes it look really trashy anyway. Yeah, like, why do you want people seeing you, like, being My stupid, retarded, yeah. like, so waving your cups around? You met Kelly, right? Yeah. Okay, we were on a cruise, and she's, like, drinking a Corona, and she's like, Kelly, get a picture of me with this bottle. I'm like, why? <laughs> Everybody has pictures of them drinking on Facebook, I mean, that, don't they? Why? I why? I took, okay, so, when I went to a concert once, I went with my cousin, and my mom was, like, really sweet, and she got us a limo to go there in, and there oh. were, like, beers, like, in there, so me and my cousin as a joke because my mom was like, I don't know, she was like, D you know, make sure you don't get too wild or whatever, like, as a joke. So me and my cousin took a picture of us with, like, beers as a joke and, like, sent it to her. Like, we didn't open them or anything, we just took a picture with it. And, like, I feel like some of those pictures, it's just like, oh, you know, like, they're cutesy. And, like, other ones, it's just like, oh, you know, I just want to brag that I'm, you know, Yeah, beer. no, I know what you mean. Also, do you think it's beer, like, multiple beer as in deer? 
or beers as in Beer. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking like, about. Like, you know, the plural of deer is deer, so is the plural of beer just beer? Obviously, you're not going to say, I drink 12 beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, but if you're like, oh, let's go get beer. Like, yeah. like you don't say, let's go get beers. No. That's anyway. Let's go get some beers. Beers. <laughs> beers. <laughs> With the accent and all. Where are you yeah. from? Beers. I noticed your accent. Long Island. Be really? Because I am yeah. too, but we don't have the same wow. kind of no, I get it. All, I don't know why I talk the way I do. I it sounds like, <laughs> like a Boston or a Jersey. Yeah, Boston? No. <laughs> like, Come on. Doesn't it not sound really really He's so on. offended right now. It's a very <laughs> New York accent, though. Thank it's you. Like, not Boston like or Jersey. Why would you just Boston. punch me in the stomach? <laughs> 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 no, it's not Boston, actually. Anyway, so back to social networks. See, if I looked at his Facebook, I would know where he was from. Exactly. Exactly. My so you should start looking at. No, but I would rather just ask you as a person and not be like a creep. <laughs> well, just because you use Facebook doesn't mean that you can't also talk as people. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. one or the other. But I mean, that's kind of the way people think. They're like, oh, well, I get along with this person over Facebook, so I'm not going to risk being awkward and go meet them in person. I love <laughs> people to pe what is it? Face to face chats better. I hate like phone. But and I mean, this has been going on. Chat. I feel for our entire lives because our like w when AIM was invented. Eight. We were that like what great. nine, yeah. And ever since then, that was the first not talk in person, but, yeah. talk but over the, the computer time, type thing. And then you'd meet people that you met on AIM, and it would be the most awkward thing ever. I distinctly remember it when I was yeah. twelve That's I don't know. or eleven. I mean, not I like meet people meet people, not like like you want to meet. I mean like <laughs> meet yeah, somebody through somebody else, and then I don't know. That's kind of what we were <laughs> saying, though. It's like. It allows you to kind of talk to people more because, you know, when you're not able to be with the person, you at least have another way of communicating with mm -hmm. them. Uh -huh. But it also takes away from it a lot because when you do see them in person, you know, it's not as exciting or fun as it would uh -huh. be <laughs> if, you know, you were usually hanging out with them. I do not agree with that at all. Really? You think it's more exciting to talk to people no, over no, no. Facebook? I'm not saying it's more exciting. I'm saying that Facebook kind of takes away from your ability to... You know, oh, the person. ability to be like yeah. a normal social I'm person. I'm saying I like... I totally agree with that. Like there are some people who like you can... Like we were saying, there are some people you can talk to on Facebook and it won't be awkward, but then when you see them in person, it's just going to be like, all right, now I have nothing to say to you. Hmm. Well, that's why you got to think of stuff. <laughs> you can't Thank you, Kaylee. You can't, you can't rely on the technology. Right, one positive... Had. Big positive of Facebook, I think. People, like, say, like, I go visit my friends at other schools, and I meet their friends there if I go there multiple times and kind of become friends with them. That's cool. Not to the point... <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. I like No, I enjoy it, too, single. but I don't meet these people to the point where I can pick up a phone and call them or be right. like, do you want to hang out? But yeah. you are able to easily stay in touch by just saying hi on Facebook and in a non-awkward, non-creepy manner. Yeah, yeah and it kind of does build up like a, a sort of like A friendship. large network of yeah. like Like, even if, like, if it's that one friend that you're friends with that you're like, oh, like, I, I like you, but I don't really know you and we don't yeah. really live around each other, but I'll say like, oh, like, I, like, blah, 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 you know, I don't oh. know. Like, <laughs> I do that. Blah, blah, blah. It kind of builds up the friendship, not as much as it would like face-to-face yeah. -face hangout time, but if it's all you can do, that's cool. Yeah, it kind of gives you that a little bit of a bond with somebody that you wouldn't normally be yeah. able to get, have bonds yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, totally, totally. What do you guys think about relationship statuses on Facebook? <laughs> I love that. It has <laughs> <laughs> Why is this? I'm very interested. I've never heard that. Because, like, answer. you like a guy or something, and then you, like, stalk his Facebook, and then you, like, don't like him anymore because no. he has a girlfriend. So then I guess you didn't really like him that much. But, I mean, <laughs> I, if I saw that somebody was in a relationship, it, I don't think it would necessarily stop me from liking them. I mean, it would yeah. stop me from you know, pursuing it, like, I Just wouldn't, change I wouldn't be like, oh, you know, let's go hang out or let's have dinner or whatever, but, like, I wouldn't be like, oh, I don't like you anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind one of, of the first things I look at, though. <laughs> 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 you are a creep. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same with everyone, though. Like, you meet someone that you are like, oh, he's cool, like, I'd like to get to know him, or she, in your case, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> um, and, like, you... Obviously, if you think that you like them, you're going to be like, oh, I want to make sure he's not taken, mm -hmm. you know? You're not going to be like, oh, you know, screw it. I don't care if he has a girlfriend or not. Well, you might. Well, <laughs> it's true. Some people would. What if they don't want to put it on Facebook? I hate them. Some people don't do that. <laughs> yeah, there are some people who don't do that. <laughs> they just you're don't so know. passionate about this. I hate them. <laughs>
The worst is when you break up your relationship and people like comment on You're it. You're like, oh, like it. <laughs> Yeah. Who like if it you break up with your girlfriend and you see a bunch of random dudes from her school, so you have a long distance relationship, and liking her status, like, oh. Geez. My freaking friend did that last year. She freaking liked it. I was like, you're a bitch. <laughs> I like that you broke up with her. I mean, it's one thing if you talk to the person and they're like, yeah, he's a scumbag. I hate his guts. And then she breaks up with him like the next day, and you're like, oh, good, you finally did it, or something like that. <laughs> but it's another thing to like it when like you don't even know the situation. Yeah. You're just like, oh, you're single no, again. No, it was what my best you? friend. It was my best friend that liked it. I was like, yeah. really, Nicole? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she I doesn't watch it. I don't know. I feel like also people are a little bit. They're. People have different opinions on whether you should put it in a relationship status on Facebook, like whether it's necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you said that in the in a previous episode. Yeah. Like, you can say you're in a relationship, but it doesn't have to be with, with the yeah, specific person. Yeah, it doesn't have to person. say who the specific person is. But I is. feel like if you're going to put in a relationship, you might as well put who it's with. I mean, yes and no, because if you, you know, you guys want your privacy, too. Like, it's like when people are like, oh, you know, this person, is, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but, like, when people are saying, oh, you know, this celebrity is going out with this one, they don't need to really publicize it, but they do. It's the do. same with me. I, like, I have to keep my private life private yeah. from the paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know how it is. You know, being the co-host of Chit Chat. It's, I know. It's, it's a tough life. It's tough. <laughs> you get hounded way too much. I think relationships have changed, too, because it's kind of like you're not in a relationship until you're Facebook legit. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it's official now. Like, it's yeah. Facebook official. Yeah. Which I kind of don't like. I hate it. I, like, you can be in a relationship without the world of Facebook knowing that you're in a relationship. Yeah, but the world doesn't consider it official until it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the sad part. It's, yeah, it is. Like, what's going to develop next? Like, what happened to, you know, just going out, <laughs> going on dates, like... We had this episode. We, we had this episode. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Haley. Just cut me off. <laughs> Shut right. me down. Continue, please. No, I don't want to anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about, like, Twitter? Stupid. Yeah. Isn't it just like the status of Facebook? Exactly. Yeah. Isn't that I said this in class yesterday. Exactly. Yeah. It's the exact same thing without all the other jazz. The exact same thing. But at the same time, a lot of more, a lot more celebrities have Twitter than Facebook. That's the only reason. Yeah, because Twitter. Twitter. I think all celebrities have both. No, Correct. I think, I, because a lot of them, like I, I do have a Twitter. I'll admit it. Um, and like a lot of the celebrities that I follow, they're like, I don't have a Facebook. And, like, I'll see, like, these articles, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I have a Twitter, but I don't have a Facebook. Which oh, I find kind of weird. Yeah. Because they don't want to, I guess, deal with all the other stuff. They but just, I mean, can you just can put, put out short, timely messages. You can put it messages. on privacy settings. Yeah, I guess. But I, I guess, like, you get more notifications from Facebook uh -huh. than you do with Twitter. Yeah. Twitter just won't I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Why do you guys think that Facebook flourished, but MySpace didn't? Viruses, all those viruses. Really? Right. Well, that's part of it. Remember, well, everybody's wall. I, I, I went back and looked at my MySpace a couple months ago. It's pretty funny to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but isn't isn't MySpace also like, um, if you friend someone, you're automatically friends with them. You can't like ignore them or whatever. Like you can block them later on, but when you initially friend someone. Yeah, Facebook was just a more advanced version of MySpace. Yeah. I think they took it to the next level. You think yeah. Tom was angry? <laughs> <laughs> Tom with and Mark Zuckerberg with all that money, and of I would um, like to have them. On chit chat. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, if we're not going Mark. to. <laughs> I mean, Facebook me. I mean, I think oh, I that. I think that for MySpace, wasn't it also that you could see people's walls even if you weren't friends with them? No. I think no. you could. At first, I think you could. I think you could because Facebook has like the privacy settings, so you can block it from people you're not friends with. In MySpace, I'm pretty sure, didn't have those like privacy settings. That's why there were so many issues with like MySpace stalkers and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because people could go on your wall and see it, and people weren't even careful with MySpace. So like they'd mm -hmm. put their address, they'd put their phone mm -hmm. number, that they'd lie about their age. Like that was before people realized, I think, how far this social networking thing right. could like, ultimately how dangerous go. It could be. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, isn't it once you put something up on the internet... It's e there. Yeah, even if you delete yeah, it... Even if you delete you it, can still, it's still out there. It can yeah. still be found somehow. Yeah. I want to know how many, it's like, scary. minutes a week that we're on Facebook, though. Um, it's way too much. I hours. can't even... Uh, I it's can't like, even tell. It's like addicting. You turn on the internet and you like automatically do yeah. it. I'm like, yeah. Honestly, I think it's like programmed into my brain now. Like I turn on my computer and the first thing I type in is Facebook. Well, that's even if it's not where I'm aiming to go, like my fingers just do the typing for me. We have to look 
at the psychology behind Facebook and transfer that into the show to get more people to watch it. <laughs> I automatically <laughs> turned on chit chat. I don't know why. It's so weird. I just turned on chit chat. I just really wanted to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what about? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Um, I think we're out of time for today. So I hope you enjoyed our rant on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> and um, we'll be back next week where I think we're going to be talking about the whole Kegs and Eggs Fountain Day debacle. Ooh. Which so. got ex escalated because of Facebook and YouTube. True. It all connects people. <laughs> <laughs> See you, See you next week. I'm Ashley. I'm Kaylee. I'm Dan. I'm Nicole.